El OLA is HTML mess today. We're gonna do the final image. And this is the, where you can find the question mark. After talking to to see if metal works, uh, he's gonna he's gonna give you this quest. So once you once you once you pop him, you're gonna look for that the question mark in those all those areas in those the map the map that I I just gave you. And the only one that he has to die is. Is Moku Cafe. You can one. It doesn't link, so you can just sneak up and then pop him and then pull him outside and kill him. It's very complicated if you're doing a group because if you're doing a group, if you're killing, you get the quest to kill him, but after that, you need to look for a key item, and all the people in the party need to look for that key item so that's the way you make it hard so the only good thing to do is just to come uh, solo it and get the key item because it took me like four hours for everything to find the the key uh, the the question mark to pop him and then after you beat him you need to look for the question mark to get the key the key item that said needs the NM is really easy. I mean, you can you can solo it with any class, but the only thing is you need to pull them just one by one by one. I mean, you don't need the the other one. The other one is respawn, but you need to pull them like a uh, out. And it's easy because because you can you know you can just just sneak and pull him and fight just him. But no, there is another problem here. The other problem is that. That after this, you have to look for the question mark again. For this one, the locations are like um, like a lot. There are a lot of locations where you're gonna find it, and you can get lucky and find it, you know, to the first. But then you're gonna have to look for the question mark again. It won't respawn in the same area, so you have to look for the question mark, question mark uh, again, like on uh, the other map. Like the boss is really easy, like my pet, I have, I have no problem to fight him. I level up. See the other one despawn, but the question mark it doesn't it didn't respawn in the same area, so so we need to find it we need to look for him again in the whole map. So I was I spent like maybe four hours doing this quest and it was a pain in the butt really I wanted to quit. But if you leave and you kill and you leave you need to kill it again. So yeah. And the question mark can be in any area, in any area, like, and if somebody has the quest and he did it and he get it, it wouldn't reset again, so. That's why it sucks. But that's the only thing left is just to get the question mark, the, I mean the key item. After you kill him, you just get the key item, which will take you a little bit of time. There it, like they can find it. There it is, that's the key item right there. So yep, we did it. So what we do next, just come back and talk to Sid and and, and throw shit at him because this vision is just was a bullshit really. It's just a long quest really, just look for that question mark in all the map. And there are so many, so many, so many locations like 
like D10, E9, E10, E11, G9, E, A, J, A, K, K10, K11, L10, L7, come on, just, and then you get your CSAs, gentlemen, this is the end of the mission, so, thank you, and have a wonderful day.